Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. We're now turning our attention to last night's mayoral forum, and uh, we want to take you there. Uh, it was put on by the Fitchburg Star, and uh, what we're going to do here first is share the uh, opening statements from both uh, candidates uh, in their entirety, followed by uh, Scott Gerard will provide us with some analysis of the forum uh, right after that here. So, uh, Andrew, take it away. Well, thank you, everyone, for coming. You know, I really would appreciate your support for mayor. I think that there's a lot of different reasons why you should vote for me, and I think one of those, for me, when I was putting together a flyer to tell people about myself, is I got together a lot of photos, and these are things that I have done and been a part of the community for really my entire life. Being here a long time, being an integral piece of the community, it's things like running the Burby Derby. I've done that for like seven years in a row now for coaching my nephew in Fishburg Rec softball, or basketball, excuse me. Uh, also things, you know, Fishburg Rec, where I grew up playing t-ball and coach pitch and little league, those types of things. And then also in the Bike for Boys and Girls Club, which I've done most of the years of the Bike for Boys and Girls Club. It's been here in Fitchburg for a long time. I bike hundreds of miles a year on the wonderful paths that we have here in Fitchburg. And I think all those things are reasons why it's so important for me to be involved and to really make an impact in this community. There's some big things that are coming up that we're gonna be doing a lot on this year. One is updating the comprehensive plan. Another is trying to figure out what to do with the town of Madison. And those things are gonna take a lot of time and I really want someone who not only is gonna be here for the next year, but longer than that, and someone who really cares about what happens in Fitchburg long term because I'm gonna be here in a year, five years, 10 years, hopefully longer than that. And so, you know, to me it's really important that we're making decisions that are really long-term what's best for the people who live here in Fitchburg. So hopefully you'll learn more tonight about why you should support me, and thank you for being here. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Fitchburg Star, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you all for coming out in this ideal weather. Fitchburg is a wonderful place to live. It's a privilege and honor to be the mayor of this city. One of our greatest resources is our people. Over the course of my 12-plus years living in Fitchburg, I have met people from all parts of our community and all parts of our city from all walks of life. They have a love and passion for Fitchburg, which I share. The two most important issues facing us in which I am focused on as mayor are how do we continue to invest in a high level of city services and keep the tax rate reasonable? I will continue to budget carefully, work collaboratively, and build our tax base. In both of the years I've been mayor, taxes have decreased and our services have increased. The second issue is how do we grow responsibly and in a way that makes a more inclusive, innovative, and safe city. Fitchburg is 36 square miles and only one third of our land has been developed, leading to competing interests with our urban, suburban, and rural communities. In order to have balance, community stakeholders from all three communities need to be at the table as we review and revise our comprehensive plan. We have both opportunities and challenges in the next year. I hope I can earn your support and I look forward to your questions tonight. Uh, first, just uh, your initial thoughts here uh, from, uh, from the forum tonight. Yeah, it was uh, very interesting to hear both candidates and, and kind of the things they prioritized and, and how they turned the questions around uh, to, to what they wanted to talk about. Uh, you know, I think the closing statements really spoke strongly. Uh, Aaron uh, Richardson throughout, Aaron Richardson throughout the night uh, spoke, really emphasized the long-term effects of the things that he's going to be, uh, that are going to be on the docket over the next year. And so uh, the comprehensive plan, uh, Town of Madison disillusion, uh, and then the third thing he mentioned was increasing professionalism in the office, and that was something he talked about uh, as an answer to a couple different questions. Um, Jason uh, really stressed what's been done over his two-year term so far, uh, talked a lot about community development, uh, as well as the uh, staff uh, and working with staff and prioritizing that that he's tried to do in budgeting, uh, talked about uh, the Healthy Neighborhoods Initiative and investing in nonprofits. So you really kind of saw, you know, Jason playing on his experience and, and the two years he's had in the mayor's office and then his four previous years in council and Aaron really focusing on the long-term uh, 
going forward and, and his commitment to being a part of this city and the effects that those decisions will have on him being here. One of the questions that you guys uh, put in there was the one-year term to, mm-hmm. you know, one-year versus two years. Or, uh, but what would be the sum up of that uh, that question uh, uh, from both candidates? Yeah, so just a, a quick little background on that. Uh, earlier uh, last year, uh, the council approved changes to the uh, terms and to do that uh, because historically all positions have been elected every two years mayor and all eight alders Uh, now they will be four alders every other year and four alders in the other year and then the mayor's position will be a three-year term however uh, as part of that legislation uh, the mayor determined that this first term during the switch should be uh, the mayor should also be a one-year term to kind of go through it with the alders running through a one-year term it's a lot of Uh, work to do for one year commitment and so um, the mayor seat is only going to be one year Uh, Aaron has said that he will run again if he's elected he'll certainly run for re-election Jason had previously said that uh, he was going to run for the one year term and that would be it Uh, tonight he he did walk that back a little bit and said uh, he is very proud that they staggered the terms, thinks that it's a huge deal for the city going forward, and that he would make a decision on 2020 when that time comes. Um, So he he walked back a little bit about not running and said he would not for sure say he wasn't running now. So uh, who knows, though he also acknowledged, you know, he's at a point with a fiance that he wants to start a family and has certainly given a lot of time to the city over the last few years. So he he didn't commit one way or the other. Aaron uh, talked a lot about how There's so many long-term initiatives happening that it's really important to have someone who's willing to stay around uh, and be here for the three-year term that comes after if voters were to choose them again. All right, we'll have more of that analysis here and uh, the closing statements from each candidate coming up next right here on Talking Fitchburg. 